Handling rejection in a healthy way is key to our success as fundraisers. It's just part of our job. Construction workers often have to work in very difficult weather conditions. Some attorneys have to defend people that are guilty. In fundraising, we have to deal with rejection. There's a wonderful saying that keeps me going anytime I am rejected by a donor or anybody. It's attributed to several people, I'm not sure really who said it originally, Jack Canfield, David Sandler. It's some will, some won't, so what? Someone is waiting. And that last point, someone's waiting, that's what drives me. To know that if the donor that I just called, who wasn't expecting my call, who was trying to rush me off the phone, didn't want to have a conversation with me, instead of kind of getting all, taking it personally or, or, or letting that stop me from picking up the phone again, I just look at that little card I have on my desk that tells me that. SW4, some will, some won't, so what, someone's waiting. In my video ABQ, Always Be Qualifying, which you can find here on my YouTube channel, I talk about the fact that we need to continually qualify our donors. Even if we have a qualified caseload of 150 donors, we need to be continually determining, is the donor open to more relationship? Are they open to doing more? Are they open to engaging in us? If they're not, we should put them aside and put them in some type of automated cultivation process. But the more we chase people that aren't interested, the more we are neglecting those someone's waiting. There are people out there waiting. It's a great way to keep you on track, to keep you picking up that phone, to keep you smiling and dialing. SW to the four. If you like this idea, check out my new book, Go See People. Shameless plug here. It's available on Amazon in print and digital format. Got lots of other ideas, podcasts, videos, free stuff at joetumalo.com. Until next time, all the best to you and your work.